welcome uh, game designers, I guess? Yes. This special series is dedicated... Uh, well, is this a vlog? I'm calling this a vlog. Uh, yes, it's a fucking vlog. I hate them. A stupid phone. What is it? No. No. I don't know how to use the updates either. Anyway. So, what are you exactly doing? What's this thing going to be about? Well, they're just going to see me develop uh, the shooter demo as I'm still doing that. Um, oh, so insane shooting's not dead. No, it's never been dead. <sighs> it's just that I really suck at social media, so I'm trying to reach out to try to see if anybody wants to hopefully be down to, down to clown and help me out with this. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, yeah. That and, like, uh, my channel updates not very good, because, um, yeah. It's just that nobody downloaded Death TV, and I... Okay, so here's what I do. Uh, on top of, like, you know, teaching and all that stuff... Wait, so what are you even doing? Oh, I'm gonna set this flamethrower up. Oh, okay. So, on top of teaching... Uh, you know, CPR and now UCSD, which is under lockdown because of the coronavirus. Um, I manage a Let's Play channel as well. It's called Doug Plays. And I found out that there's brand confusion because there's also another channel called Doug Plays. I'm like, fuck. Uh, and currently I'm doing a Let's Play of Resident Evil 4. I stubbed my toe funnel cake. Anyway, so there's all that. Um, I'll link to all that down below. It's just that... Since nobody downloaded the Death TV demo, uh, yeah. Is the game shit? It's not shit, it's just, again, I suck at social media. So, anyway, let's just, uh, get this whole thing started. So what are you gonna do? Uh, first things first, I gotta... Is that what Nate looks like? This is a placeholder, trust me. Uh, Nathan is not gonna look anything like this. It's just for the, for the purposes of the demo, yeah, that's what he's gonna look like for now. Um... And what's his face? Plankor is going to be someone else. So we're just going to add a socket. And this socket is. No. No! This socket is actually going to be called Fire. Uh, no. Flame socket. Let's add a preview mesh. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Da -da -da -da. Where is it? Gun underscore fire. It is you. Scale. Holy shit, this thing's huge. Yeah, I gotta scale it down. Uh, first, I need. Let's go to preview anim. Uh, let's click on you. Uh, no. Uh, let's. God damn it. Shit. Let's click on that. Uh, I gotta use a specific animation. It's that. And aiming. Idle. Aiming. That looks bad. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna fix it now. Scale it down. Okay. Let's move this here. What's that other preview mesh? That's a disintegrator. Ah, yeah. So are you going to... Is this a tutorial? No, it's not a tutorial. They want to copy fine, but, like, this isn't a tutorial. Uh, you know what? I'm okay with that. What about the clipping? Won't that be an issue? They won't see it. Why? Uh, I'll actually show you. That. That's where the camera is. Oh, so it won't view the... It won't see any of the clipping. No. All the weapons will be uh, uh, visible and attached. So there's nothing I can do about that. Anyway, let me go to the first person camera, because I gotta add some stuff. Add stuff. First, let's add a particle effect. Particle system. This is gonna be a flamethrower particle. Wait, so. Whoa, 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 what the hell? What? The flamethrower is gonna be part of the player class? Yeah, don't worry, I'll, talk, I'll take care of that myself. And then we need to add a box collision. The box collision. I gotta move this right there. And 
Let's upgrade its width. So the particle, so the way the fire collision is going to work is that, can't you just collide with the uh, particle itself? I've had bad luck with that. I'll, I'll, I'll f mess with it if I have to, but I had bad luck with it, so. Okay. Mm. Anyway, so that's done. We will also, let's move this back a little around there. That should do it. And now I need to add an audio cue. Sounds of audio. Let's go flame. Uh, let's do flamethrower blaster. Make sure auto activate's not on. So there's that. And now I gotta get an event tick going. Why? No. You'll see what I mean. Oh, right. There's something I gotta do. And Chaz, uh, first off, let's uh, set it so that it's not visible. And while that's not visible, this will not have any collision. No collision whatsoever. And here's where I will actually do the ammunition stuffs. So there's that. Uh, it's gonna work in pin form. And here is where I will also attach the component. Um, yeah, let me spawn. Yeah, okay, so I'll spawn this. So, first and foremost, let me see if this is okay. So, this is good. There's nothing I can do here. Wait, really? Mm -hmm. Damage table and all that shit will have to be handled through neat stuff. So, let's control uh, W this. Let's move this in here. So how all this actually? So wait, what? Um, how will you like? How's the player inventory around all this? Uh, I'll set it up later. It's gonna be a different video. This is just for setting up certain weapons. Promote that to variable. Promote that to a variable. I'm gonna call this flame gun. All right, fine. Flame gun. Flame gun. Yeah. Let's go here. Why do you have different sockets? Uh, it's it's easier. So there won't be one universal socket for every. So that way, there's just so, like all the weapons have different scales, so not all of them will be attached to that one socket. And I'm gonna take this, copy it, and I'm gonna save that down. Let's plot this in here because each and every socket. Fuck. That's not my boss from CPR classes. So, um, hold on. I gotta make a new variable. Has flame thrower. And has disintegrator. Let's set that to false. Over here, let's say has flame thrower. Let's branch it out. This has to be true. Can shoot has to be true as well. And on that, I will just say fire on. I'm going to set that to true. I'll have a sequence here. Well, I don't. Um, do I have his. Um, yeah, I'll do that now too. Why? On fire. I thought you made the player class in Blueprint. No, I didn't, uh... I thought you made that. wait, I'm sorry. I thought you made the, um... Shit, what the hell is it called? The dudes in C++. I did make the dudes in C++. Each and every one of the dudes borrowed from the same dude class. But not, but not Nathan. Uh, not the two player characters. It's easier if I just do it in Blueprint for the player, ca uh, for the player classes. Why? Um, it just is. At least I found that it was. Maybe then the, the dudes themselves, while they borrow... I'll show you what I mean. So let's go to the cloak dude. Uh, no, not the dude is dead. Let's double click here. Hopefully it won't crash. What if it does? Well, I'm doubly fucked. 
So, okay. They each have, like, all these by default, and I could, and I could modify them via Blueprint. It's just easier that I do the that I do the player class itself from Blueprint because it would be way easier to modify. Wouldn't it be easier to modify it in C++? No, it would be faster. Blueprint is ten times slower than uh, C++. Uh, let's grab this and this. Branch them out for the time being. I'll have this thing called Fire Ammo because it's this is the only time that the player class will have Fire Ammo will have ammo in this player class. Why? All the gun classes... The gun classes, too, are made in C++. Well, most of them are. What do you mean? Uh... Like, no, that's... No, not the projectile PPs. The projectile PPs, they made, they were made from Blooper. Uh, I'll show you. The gun template... Uh, they all have ammo clip size, etc., etc. Flamethrower won't. Flamethrower will only be controlled through the player. As far as how the behavior works, I just found it easier, much easier to do it in Blueprint. So that way, um, if anybody joins uh, joins up with uh, joins up with my cause to help out with ensign shooting, they know what to modify and where instead of going into code and all that shit. So why are the guns all skeletons? Um, it's just easier. Couldn't you just use a static mesh? I could, but, like, nah. Anyway. That's not a good explanation. Ah, trust me. It, it, like, I don't want to use a static mesh for, for guns, for the guns, unless I have to. But even then, I, I'd rather use a skeletal mesh. Uh, so let's move this. I'll just move this over. Why? Uh, anyway. Uh, let's go to, f nope, that's fire. Fire on. Branch that out. And do that. And true. Um. Oh, right. Uh. And true. We'll toggle the visibility. Move this down. I need to. Let's make sure fire ammo is actually a float. Set that. I'll set this to something like 200. And so, make sure this is greater than zero. Branch that out. Plug that in. Uh, fucking UCSD. Uh, check for UCSD updates later. UCSD updates? Um. Okay, I'll I'll talk about that later. No, talk about it now. You already brought it up. <sighs> Fine. Okay, so um, okay, so for those it, I don't want to read the C plus plus symbols. Uh, so for those who are in the in the know, uh, I teach for UCSD and I teach for uh, CPR, and I teach CPR first aid, right? Okay. Uh, the thing is, let's, let's set this collision. Uh, the thing is, um. Set collision enabled. With the coronavirus going around, a lot of people are uh, obviously scared and panicked. Um, so, like UCSD straight up is, there's still, technically speaking, their campus is still kind of open. It's just, um, like, well, I teach for UCSD's extension courses, so they just straight up told me not to, to show up. Uh, because cl 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 classes are straight up cancelled. It's minus float. And then set it. Wait a minute. If it's gonna go off every tick, won't that mean the ammo will fly down? Yeah. Serious? Yeah. That's the point. Um. Um. Set it. Nope. I have to play this. And I have to make sure is looping. I'll make sure looping is on. Uh, true. Oh, wait. I thought I could loop this. Oh no! I have to actually go into its properties. Let's do that now. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Let's go looping. Let's go looping. Let's go looping. <laughs> yeah, I just needed to do that. Uh, da -da 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 -da. And let's play. And let's take the 
this. Control W here and delete that. I have to stop. And before I do anything more, I have to go to released. And I'll just set fire on the fault. Here. And that's that. Uh, let's set weapon access to four. Let's go that. Pile. Let's play it up. Ah, bop. I have to go to test map. Test map. Play. Why are all the company? Uh, why are all the guns visible? Um, don't worry, I'll fix that later. Mm, it's not working. I wonder why. Test flamethrower needs to be shut to true. Let's try this again. Okay, so that's happening. Um. There's lag. What do you mean there's lag? There's typing lag. Um, that should do it. Just to be on the safe side. What are you doing? I'm gonna print the string. Print string. And let's just have ammo be in there. So I can appropriately measure it. And on stop, I'll just reset. See if that'll work. Wow. Yeah. Yep. No ammo. Now, there's something I gotta do. Wow. Let's go here. Rando debris? Yeah. What's rando debris? Um. Rando debris. Rando debris. I'll show you what I mean. Let us defire for the time being. Defire? Yeah. God damn it. I don't have the disintegrator. Let's set that to true. And let's set you to false. That. Ow! Did you just... Yeah, the disintegrator... It allows me to destroy random debris. I'm colliding with it now. What if I destroy it? Oh, wait. Couldn't you just... My... If it's hitting a static mesh, well, that's a double-edged sword. See, if the floor is static mesh, oh yeah, then the disintegrator will affect the floor. And since it's a static mesh actor, that'll happen. Oh shit. Mm hmm. Oh, um. Okay. So. All right. Let's do this. Uh. Let's have on. Fire, right? And then, uh, tss, tss, tss. still on fire, I guess. Let me see. Um, what are you doing? Ah, shit. I, I'm going to try some something. First and foremost, yeah, let's, well, should we expand that a little? Yeah, let's expand that a little. So that it's encompassing the whole thing. So wait, does this mean that uh, rando debris has to be reset? What, the static mesh component? The static mesh itself? Yeah, yeah, I have to reset it every time. What I mean, what that means is, like, if I don't want it being a chair or something, I'm gonna have to scroll this down and then just hardcore reset it. So I could just say, I don't know, um, I said door. 
and then yeah, I'd have to uh, resize the collision box. Anyway, that's a pain in the ass. It's necessary. It's necessary. Anyway, let's do this. Um, shit, what was I gonna? Oh right, particle effect. Particles.